Man, that's a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them. Okay, at the time of this filming, I don't know when I'll edit this, so this is going to be a follow-up video on uh, this, my spare tire vacuum experiment. It has been in here and like this since I posted the original video. Uh, I'm also going to test out a new air pump, and yeah, let's get started. First thing that people wanted to know is how am I going to get it back up? This is a block I keep so I can use the factory spare. You can buy one of those. Uh, <laughs> these companies will sell you stuff. I guess there's always a market for everything. Here's my jack that uh, might be beating up this tire. I don't really care. Okay, can I get it out? Oh wait, what's over here? Okay, can I get this out of here? Looks like I forgot something. Oh, interesting. I don't know if you caught that. As soon as I moved it, it started inflating itself. a 10 mil? No, it's a 6. Alright. I'm now going to reinstall the valve core and then we're going to air the tire up. Okay, so I've got it hooked up to this air pump. The, uh, that name. And we're going to air it up. Oh, uh, Just an extra bit of uh, clarification. These guys did send me this for free with the uh, understanding that I'd use it in a video and that I put that Tosalaz, Tosalaz, whatever it's called, in the title. But I pay for everything else here with my own money. Let's air it up. That's 37. I'm gonna leave it here for an hour and see if it changes. Okay, it's been a few hours. However, I have noticed there is now a crack in the sidewall and this tire is holding air. Provisionally, let's see, it is a five-year-old tire. Oh. Uh, 0718, that's what, seventh week of 2018 there. But I'm going to keep an eye on this. However, it does seem like it's holding air. Oh. It is holding pressure. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I want to recommend this, actually. Uh, it's a fun, been a fun experiment for me. I can only assume that the vacuum caused this crack. Uh, I haven't seen damage like this before. It does seem to be holding pressure. However, I'm not going to recommend anyone else do it. Uh, yeah, learn something new every day. In the meantime, I think I'm going to test this out some more. So stand by for that. Today, in the old trash pile here, I got sent this uh, air compressor tire inflator for review. And I did not realize what a monster it is. Seriously, look at this thing. Uh, drill four scale. Actually, there's an entire battery for a Honda Insight four scale. Uh, this is the 4x4 off road Tosalaz? Tosanass? I don't know. Tosalada ass. Uh, they made some pretty outlandish claims in their ad, so I want to test it. Let's get started. One of their claims is actually on a 285 7017 tire, and 
that is incredibly convenient for me because I have a 285 70 17 tire and they said it can take it from 20 psi to 30 psi and had a rating there so if you see if it would focus I am right at 20 psi so I've now hooked it up to the battery as you can see the cord is plenty enough long because the, I still have enough hose. This gauge, first thing I want to notice here, that might be accurate. That could use, if that's PSI, that could use uh, pounds per square inch. Yeah. I feel like that could be a smaller gauge. So according to them, they can go from 20 PSI to 30 PSI in 30 seconds. I'm not trusting that gauge 100% right now. I'm going to use my own. Uh, I might grab a second one if I can here, but I'm going to run it for 30 seconds and we'll see what happens. definitely airing it up quick but I'm still not trusting that gauge I'm gonna use my own I don't think that's 30 psi guys let's check you know what though <laughs> It certainly is close. Wow. Wow, that was, what is that, 28 PSI? I wish this would focus. So that's 29 PSI is what I'm rating. You know what? I'll give him this, actually. Uh, ideal conditions, weather, tire itself, and I timed it out as exactly 30 seconds and it got 9 PSI instead of 10 on my side. Uh, I think that's within the margin of error, so... <laughs> Something living up to its claims, who would have thought? So the gauge itself could be better. Uh, it would be nice to only have one, but... You know, for as much air as that's putting out... Also, the... It's kind of got a weird lip to it there. But if the pump works... Who cares? Oh, they've also got a quick connect. Uh, hang on, I'll put that on. Man. If it wasn't for that gauge, I'd be really blown away right now. As is, I'm still kind of happy. So in just a few seconds, 35 PSI. Now this is only on a 33, so I'm sure it'd be slower on a 35 or 37 or something like that. Uh, but I will say, that's pretty impressive uh, for something that can be used anywhere and I've been looking into it uh, they make all the old school guys used to do the York 210 which was an air compressor that was actually converted from a air conditioning pump uh, so it actually runs off the belt they actually make one for this engine the GM 53 here uh, they make a bracket so you can get that on and those things put out crazy air uh, but that's definitely going to get backburnered now that I have this. Extra thought, this is a wonderful little deflator. They make all kinds of these and they're pretty cheap. Uh, 10, 15, 20 bucks, stuff like that. You screw it on and then you actually remove the core with this here. And then you're like, oh, now what? If I could do it right. I mean, look how fast this deflates. Yeah. 
and then you just screw the core back in. There it is. Finding the core blind is the worst part about this, but once you get use it a couple times, you get the hang of it. And there you go. So you can air up and air down extremely quickly, which is always my complaint with airing up or down. It is a great idea off-road. It's not just a traction thing, but for me, it's a comfort thing. Think like removing your sway bars. This little deflator, like I said, doesn't cost anything at all. And the time saved, it's not just a time save thing, it's like the convenience. You know what I'm saying? Like you're more likely to do it because it's convenient. Back inside, these pistons, I mean, very slightly warm. The cable, room temperature, the hose. Yeah, slightly warm right at the output 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 feed line. But I mean, like at this point here, it's room temperature. Uh, yeah, I say this is a winner. I would say grab this. Actually, it might not be a winner. They got to work on the name. Uh, toss an ass doesn't work for me. But the product itself is good. Grab a little deflator. It all comes in on the bag. Quick note for the picky, this bag did come damaged, uh, pretty minor if I'm honest, but it's got this, it's like this styrofoam stuck to it. I don't know if that's shipping or what, but I don't really care. But deflator, inflator, I want to see if I can't put a gauge in there, a nicer gauge than what I got. And then I'm going to be much more likely to inflate or deflate my tires when I just keep this. I'm just going to keep that in the truck at all times. I have a smaller one. I still need to do an update video for that uh, vacuum tire that I did. Uh, I'll link that here if you're wondering what that's all about. But otherwise, enjoy your day. Hope this helped you. Thanks for watching.